Hey guys, it's Paul from Crow Guitar Tuition. Welcome back to another uh, reaction video, carrying on again with the warning reactions, Queen of the Murder Scene. And today we're up to the song Dull Knives. Now today I'm, uh, I'm actually watching this performance. Um, it's from a different performance than all the other ones because a number of people, or it might be the same person, I lose track, but were saying in the comments of previous videos, when you get to this song, Dull Knives, make sure you use this version, the Heaven and Hell version. Uh, from this Heaven and Hell Festival, rather than the Lunario, Lunario uh, live one there. So um, that's what I've gone for. So I, I've got no real way of knowing whether it is going to be better or worse than the other one. I'm just going straight for it and trusting people on what they've said. Don't know much about this song or anything about this song, but a number of people have been kind of mentioning it from quite early on. Um, so I get the impression that it's kind of one of the, you know, if you're thinking about kind of standout tracks on the album, I guess you'd be thinking about Dust to Dust and maybe this one. Um, that's the impression I get at least. So I'm expecting good things. Um, looks like it, you know, just got the screenshot up here because the video is ready to go. Um, looks like it's quite a big stage. Um, so hopefully it's a good show. So without further ado, let's just crack straight on. Here we go. Serious compression kicked in at the beginning there. That first guitar, then when everyone kicked in, it crunched like that, it felt to me. Vertical video filmer, shocking. Certainly got a good heavy bass thundering under it. It's all about the drummer. Like that, that'll do. Just doing octaves up the neck there. Yes. Right, oh, that was, that was went by quite quick, that one. Quite a short song, actually, only three minutes there. Maybe they play it a little bit quicker because it's live. Wow, what do you think about it? So I think the thing that's dawned on me, so again, I'm going to stick by my comments that the drummer is the absolute standout player of this band, um, without a doubt. Now, I was thinking it during the last one, which was Sinister Smiles, which I only watched literally five minutes ago. Um, and I noticed it again there, like, so looking at the, is it Danny, the guitarist, you know, so, so she's not, um, she's not a big, 
So a lot of what she plays through stuff, there's not, it doesn't seem like there's a huge lot of riffs. There's a lot of chords stuff. So there's a lot of kind of power chords, octaves, that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, it's, which, which make good kind of good sounding rock songs. I'm surprised actually there's less, I'd be really interested to hear her doing more kind of riffs, you know, distinctive riffs rather than just, you know, one chord to another chord to another chord. Um, it surprises me because I know they've covered a lot of stuff like Metallica stuff and Metallica are, are very heavily riff based. And I would have thought, you know, if you've come out with an influence like that, you would have, you'd end up writing more riffs than kind of straight progressions. Um, so I think from a guitarist point of view, as I listen, when I look at what she's doing on guitar, it's, you know, it's good stuff, but it's not groundbreaking stuff on the whole. I mean, and I think I could go as far as to say that I haven't seen anything she's done guitar wise, which makes me kind of prick up my ears particularly and go, oh, you know, that's interesting. It's all good. It's all good playing. And it's all kind of fits the, the kind of thing they're doing in their songs. Um, but like I say, I wonder if you just had that and they didn't have such a good drummer, whether it would sound a bit pedestrian sometimes. Um, I don't know, maybe, well, you know, it's all subjective, isn't it? So um, it's all just an opinion on it. So, um, but still another good song. I mean, the thing that, I think the, the thing that saves them particularly from getting stuck into that, that pedestrian sound is that they do have good songwriting skills. I keep saying this in all videos. The songs are what make it. You don't have to be playing exceptionally technical stuff or or even vaguely technical stuff. Um, as long as you can write a good song over the top of it, you got you know you can do a good tune and you can structure it in such a way that it grabs people, and that's what they're good at. So um, yeah, so I, I I think listening to it with with different ears really at different times, you know, as a as a kind of just as a listener, the whole product is great, you know, just as a, uh, with a kind of drumming hat on, the drumming is, is brilliant, you know, phenomenal, particularly the fact that she does the singing with it as well often. Um, with just a guitarist hat on, it's, it's good, um, good stuff. Um, I guess, the th I think the thing for me as a guitarist, when I hear stuff is so I can enjoy the whole thing. I don't go away from a lot of what I've heard of them and think I'd really love to play that on guitar. Um, because it doesn't, when I'm looking at it, I'm going, there isn't anything in there particularly that's making me go, oh, I must find out what she's doing there because that's really interesting. Um, so, I mean, completely different end of the spectrum. I was listening to the band Sixth um, the other day. Um, so if you don't know them, spell S-I-K-T-H, sixth. And I was listening to a couple of songs like Pussyfoot and Peep Show. Very, very different sound. But as I listen to that, I'm like, wow, what's going on here? Like, from a guitarist point of view, it's just off the wall. It sounds off the wall bonkers. The timings are all strange and crazy. And you're trying to work out what's going on and what are those discordant bits there. Um, so I hear that and I want to delve deeper into it. I don't want to delve particularly deeper into the guitar stuff on this. But like I say, as part of a whole package, uh, as a band, it works for them. Um, so don't hear me wrong in what I'm saying about that. So it's still enjoying it all. Um, I can definitely see, I think that people would say, if that is what people think of as a standout track, I can see why people would, would think that. It's, again, one of the really good ones. Um, so, yeah. So I think, was that was that the second part of chapter three? Yeah, I think so. So still a few more to go. I'm not sure how many more I've got left to go. Uh, four more. Okay, great. So still quite a bit. So um, cool. Good. So enjoyed it. Very good one. Um, next one, Queen of the Murder Scene. So the the uh, the title track. So see what I make of that one. Great. Thanks guys for watching. I'm sure you'll <laughs> let me know what you think about my comments on that in the comments themselves. And I'll see you down there. Keep it civil. All right. Take care, people. See you next time. Bye.